What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about the 12 most loved cities in the UK. Love is a interesting way to describe a city. It's what kind of attracted me to this uh, video. It's different than your favorite city or the best cities in the UK. These are the 12 most loved cities in the UK. It's almost stronger, something stronger than just liking a city. And, uh, you know, I'm gonna be honest, as far as cities in the UK go, I think I have to admit that most Americans really would only be able to name London, which is one city. So they couldn't even answer this question. If you asked an American, what cities in the UK do you love? We couldn't even answer. We'd only, <laughs> we'd have to just be like, uh, London, I really love London. Uh, yeah, that, that's all 12 places uh, for me, London, because uh, that's all we know. But um, there's a lot of reasons to love a city. Americans certainly love their cities. You know, it can be the culture of the city, that it has your favorite places to eat, the food, the events, the attractions, the people. It could be that you were born there and just love it. So this video actually really fascinates me, just wondering about the reasons why uh, certain people in the UK would have a love for particular cities. So uh, without any further ado, <laughs> let's check it out. It's not an easy job to determine the city that is most loved in a country. Yeah. This video about the most loved cities in the UK should interest you. <laughs> I like how it's telling me that I should be interested. It's like, yeah, I know, I'm interested. That's why I turned it on. And now you're telling me? Okay. okay. Information about how much a city is loved or hated is not just an idle academic or mental exercise. Public, brands, agencies, and even the media need to have an idea of how popular and famous cities are in the modern day UK. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize how serious this was. Okay, sitting up straight, you know, I'm ready. The, the objectively, scientifically analyzed most loved cities in the UK, I'm ready. To determine this, we felt the pulse of the Britons. Let's quickly tell you that we place the opinion of all adults above those of just the millennials, Generation <laughs> X, or baby boomers. <laughs> Wait, I'm a millennial, and they're, you know what, I'm okay with it. Uh, <laughs> Our findings, here are the 12 most loved cities uh, in the UK. You'd think you'd want like a random sampling of the entire spectrum of the population and their age for what cities they love, but it's fine. I'm sure they kind of did that. 12. Plymouth. Plymouth. I've heard of Plymouth. I've heard of this. <laughs> I've heard of it. I can't tell you a single thing about it. We find Plymouth, the city of the great writer T.S. Eliot, as the 12th most loved city in the UK. Okay. The available data shows that Plymouth is 52% popular. By saying this, we mean that 52% of the people in the United Kingdom have a positive opinion about this home of actors Sean Bean and John Houseman. Huh, that's an interesting way of measuring it. 52% of citizens polled in the UK had a positive perception of Plymouth. Very interesting. I guess that's a decent way if you're gonna try to calculate love, uh, which is kind of silly, but uh, it's a way, it's a fine way. In addition to that, the city is 95% famous. In other words, 95% of all the people living in Britain have heard of or been to Plymouth. Okay, this city okay. is not without haters. Some 6% <laughs> of the people in the UK say they dislike Plymouth, while 37% of the people are indifferent toward the city. Wait, how many hate, how many, what percent hate Plymouth? Why do they hate it? it? Looks beautiful. Or been to Plymouth. This city is not without haters. Some 6% of the people in the UK- Oh, six, I thought he said 60. I was like, that doesn't make sense. 52% of people love it. So <laughs> what, what's going on here? They say they dislike Plymouth, while 37% of the people are indifferent to okay. the city. Okay. They're regarded as having neutral feelings. Okay. 11. Oh, so, I mean, we didn't really delve into the specifics of why, why they love Plymouth. Although we did get some pictures. Obviously a historical place. It's I noticed it's on the water, which is, you know, any city that's built like a, a coastal city or on a lake or body of water. I've never experienced that. So that's like, 
that's something just magical all in of itself, having that. Uh, aside from the fact that it's obviously, like, beautiful architecture and whatnot. Anyway, on to Portsmouth. Portsmouth. <laughs> I've never heard of this. Portsmouth. Portsmouth. The next of the most loved cities in the UK is another city of mouth. This time it's Portsmouth. Huh. More loved than the Plymouth, 53% of the UK's residents like Portsmouth. Barely, like, 1% more liked uh, Portsmouth. Meanwhile, as much as 97% of the Britons have heard of or been to Portsmouth, still more famous than Plymouth. I'm noticing already that they're tending to choose cities that are by water or on water. Which does, I have to agree, does give a city like a huge leg up. The beauty factor, the fact that you can explore like on the water and uh, actually get to places and there's usually literally things to do on the water and places to visit. It's just a whole other dimension or element, should I say. Get it? The element of water. Portsmouth has more haters though. 7% of respondents say they dislike the city. The okay. same 37% have neutral feelings about Portsmouth. Actor Rock Hudson, loved by residents of this city. This picture here makes it look like it has... Like they have purposefully left this part of Port Portsmouth uh, old. They haven't renovated it. It's got like that vintage look to it, which is very cool. Is among the people recognized as the best of all of them. Oh. You know, I have to pay attention to the photos here and not just what he's saying because <laughs> the narrator in this is just bombarding me with stats, which is okay. That's how they made the list, but the pictures are kind of what tell me uh, the detail that I need to know about these cities and why they're loved. For one thing, look at this park and this event. Uh, kite flying or balloon fly? Pretty cool. The time. 10. Liverpool. Liverpool! Oh my gosh, I should be able to name Liverpool. No! And I love the Beatles too. I should know Liverpool. <laughs> I think Coldplay wrote some songs in Liverpool, actually. Anyway. Liverpool ties with Plymouth in popularity and fame. I'm surprised Liverpool isn't higher on this list. This is... This is like the other city that Americans are familiar with besides London they would know Liverpool. That'd be like number two that most Americans know of. Just like Plymouth, 53% of the UK's residents like Liverpool, while 97% of them have heard of or been to Liverpool. Hmm. The two cities are, however, separated by haters and those with neutral <laughs> feelings. This, this city has an interesting look. It looks more like a modern city. Maybe it's the fog and the bad weather reminding me of like American cities. <laughs> But, uh, yes. As much as 14% of the people spite Liverpool in spite of its top... But it does have these... Uh, why does every city in the UK have a beautiful historical clock tower? Is that just a thing? We don't... Why, we don't have that in America. I'm jealous. Like, that's something we should have adopted, like, 500 years ago. But, <laughs> uh, we barely existed at that point, or didn't. Don't ask me. <laughs> Top-rated soccer team. The fame of actor Steven Seagal contributes. Ah, uh, exactly what I was saying. This is this is why Liverpool is known to Americans. I think the Beatles made it famous, which I'm sure people in the UK are painfully aware of. Maybe they're just sick of hearing about Liverpool all the time. Maybe the Beatles came and made it so famous that <laughs> people in the UK are just over it. They're like, Liverpool, we get it. Americans like Liverpool. You're big fans of the Beatles. Uh, good for you. Like, <laughs> ...to the love people have for this city, but only 30% don't want to care about whatever is happening in the city. <laughs> Land Rover okay. Discovery is popular and famous in every quarter in this city that places a lot of emphasis on oil painting. Oil painting? That's cool. Probably some good museums here. Um, yeah, we're not getting too many details, but I can see the historical buildings in the background, and Liverpool is on a body of water. Again. Nine. Coincidence? Cardiff. Cardiff. I've never heard of Cardiff. The next of the most loved UK cities we shall be talking about is not in England. It's mm. Cardiff, the capital of Wales. I was about to say... Uh, these cities are in the United Kingdom. They don't all have to be in England. And sure enough, the capital of Wales. I didn't know the capital of Wales, but it makes sense that a capital of another country in the UK would make the list. They gotta, I'd be surprised if the capital of 
Northern Ireland, if they have one, <laughs> and Scotland weren't on this list, right? The largest city and the home of the Welsh Assembly, the city known for the love of the TV programme Nigella at my table is the ninth most loved city in the UK. The TV programme Nigella? Well, <laughs> Lord knows I've no, I've no idea what they're talking about there, but uh, <laughs> I guess that's an inside uh, inside joke, inside statement. Cardiff shares the same percentage of lovers with Portsmouth and Liverpool. Hmm. Also, it's the same 97% of the people that have heard of the city. But Cardiff is more loved by the two, judging from the number of haters, which is... Like I said, beautiful clock tower wherever you go in the UK. There's gonna be a beautiful clock tower. I mean, I'm not, I'm not jealous. I'm not. It's 8% and the number of those who care about the city, which is 36% of the people. Okay. 8. Newcastle upon Tyne. I mean, I feel like I've heard of Newcastle, that word, as a place. I just don't know about this upon Tyne, or if I'm thinking of the same Newcastle. But I've definitely heard Newcastle. Hmm? Newcastle upon Tyne is another one of the 12 most loved cities in the UK. Okay. Known for the Italian dish vegetable lasagna, the city too is liked oh. by 53% of the people, while its fame is among... Look at that disco ball in the background. <laughs> that disco ball building. Uh, the rest of this is like, why does these buildings look like a combination of super historical and then kind of run down? But <laughs> not like the overwhelming beauty and majesty of the like the buildings in London, which are historical and somehow in pristine condition. Anyway. 97% of them. The Australian actress Margot Robbie loves her and is so much loved in Newcastle upon Tyne. Oh. However, the city is not liked by 8% of the respondents. Oh. As many as 36% feel neutral about this city. <laughs> I think that's so funny. They asked everyone if they think negatively of these cities. Like, they made the top 12 most loved list. And we're talking about the 5% of people who hate it for some reason. I don't know why they hate these places. They seem really nice. Uh, especially this disco ball building. 7. Manchester. Manchester. Dang it. That's like the third most known. <laughs> I have to have the city said to me. Don't ask me to recall the names of cities in the UK from memory. Because I'm not going to be able to. But if you tell me the word uh, Liverpool or Manchester, I will be my memory bank will withdraw the info and be like, yes, at some point in my American education, somewhere along the line, someone said that city. So Americans, you know, we we probably learn this stuff at least one time total in formal education. And then never again. So it's somewhere in the database here, you know? <laughs> the next of the most loved cities in the UK is Manchester, the city where almost everyone wants to ride Porsche. The city is... Ride Porsche? What does ride Porsche mean? Like ride in a Porsche? Like a car? Is that a saying? It's mm. almost famous for its world-renowned Manchester airport, which gives all the comfort mm. any traveller can ask for. On the water, once again. Another city with beautiful water and beautiful bridges. Probably a clock tower. Apparently a really famous airport. That's pretty cool. Manchester is reasonably famous. Like, I've heard that. In all seriousness, I've heard the name of Manchester many times. It's interesting to see that 55% of the people of all ages love Manchester. Hmm. The city is popular nationwide and worldwide, as 98% of the people in Britain... Wow, look at this. This is a really nice shot. It's, uh... It's not necessarily located on a body of water so much as built around a river or body of water. That's really interesting. And you can build all these nice bridges and the the landscape, and the horizon, I should say. Very beautiful. I have heard about the city. It's shocking, however, to see 11% of the people who say they don't like Manchester. <laughs> Besides, 32% say they neither love nor hate this city. Okay. Six. Okay. Oh, Cambridge. Cambridge. I thought that was a university. <laughs> Americans, when they think of Cambridge, Cambridge, they think of it as like a college or university, first and foremost. But it's a city. I guess that would make sense. That's probably where the University of Cambridge is, or Cambridge University. Anyway, 
whatever this structure here is, I think it has a clock on it, of course, <laughs> is uh, beautiful, by the way. Cambridge. The home of the top world university, Cambridge is our next point of call. Right. It has plenty of reasons to be among the most loved cities in the UK. I wouldn't be surprised if this right here is Cambridge University. Just because they keep showing it and because it looks so historical and, dare I say, educational. Thus, it's not surprising to see that 60% of the people in the country are so much in love with this country. Hmm. Oh, see, this is what you got... For one thing, this looks like Venice. <laughs> the way, the, these people are, are riding around on these little boats in a stream. Reminds me of Venice. Uh, but it's cool. There's no reason that Cambridge can't have it, right? That's all. I mean, I would do this for sure, 100%. You got to jump in the boat and get, get pushed around the city in the stream. That's awesome. As famous as the city is, 97% of the people living in the UK know one thing or the other about this city. Oh, I like how even the... Beautiful, historic city of Cambridge has a McDonald's. <laughs> if you look there in the middle, uh, you can always count on a good old McDonald's to be there. Not many people will hate Cambridge for what it is. That's why only 5% of the people hate it. Still, as many yeah. as 32% of respondents said they have no reason to love or hate the city. Seems like the more we go up the list of loved cities, the less haters you have and the more just indifferent people you have. Who's going to hate Cambridge? Come on. Five, Brighton. Wow. Uh, I haven't really heard of Brighton, but this pier, this, is it a little amusement park? Built? Well, Brighton is on a beach, apparently. Wow, it's a coast city. And it has a, uh, an amusement park built over the ocean. That's amazing. That's, <laughs> that's actually great. The city of Brighton, known for its stunning seaside, skyscraping observation tower, and iconic Palace Pier, is the next place to check on. Wow, I think of all the cities so far that I've never heard of on this list, this is probably my favorite that I didn't know existed one of the most up until now. Love cities in the UK, Brighton is loved by 60% of the people. Brighton? And it has even a Ferris wheel on the beach. That is so, that is so good. It's a famous city that is known to 98% of the people. At okay. the same time, the city- Wow, look at this. This has some of the best photography so far with the apartments going down and then the Ferris wheel in the background and the ocean behind that. He is disliked by 7% of the people while 30% of them are indifferent towards the city. I mean, even their, <laughs> even their sheds are more colorful and fun than the sheds uh, in America, believe me. He in love with the award-winning late actor Anne Kirkbride. Four, Oxford. Oxford, hmm. Oxford is kind of strange because everyone has heard of Oxford. But kind of like Cambridge, it's it's thought as a university in America. If you say Cambridge, Oxford, we literally, first thing in our mind is uh, Oxford is a school, right? Cambridge is a school, right? The fourth most loved city in the UK is Oxford. And this is the fourth most loved city. And I didn't even know it was a city. How sad is that? <laughs> At least I'm learning. At least I'm learning now. Also a city with a great university. Yeah. The city where residents have great skills in juggling is popular with 63% of the people living in the UK. The residents have great skill in juggling? Is that a thing? Is that what Oxford is known for? Is that why 60% of people love it? Because <laughs> it's the city of jugglers? Of all the things to be known for. Who would okay. say he hasn't heard about Oxford? Over 98% of all polled say they have heard of or been to this city. Uh -huh. We managed to see only 6% of the people reporting that they disliked the city. Interestingly, the city of Oxford means nothing to 98% of the people. Wow, look at this. This is like a very tight, like, I wonder if this is a main street in uh, Oxford. And there's a McDonald's. Oh my gosh, of course, of course there's a McDonald's there. Uh, I'm not complaining. <laughs> no American w will complain about that. Is Oxford like this kind of a tight city with lots of narrow streets like this? Bustling with activity, I bet. Three, London. Oh my goodness. Immediately upon seeing London, 
immediately I'm struck by how modern it looks, which is really the opposite of what uh, Americans think when they think of London, because most Americans haven't looked at a photo of it recently or ever. They just know of it because it's talked about all the time. The number one thing talked about from the UK. But if you look at it now, especially with the, the massive building there, uh, the, the tallest one, it looks so modern combined with like the bridge and all of the other historical landmarks. London is this fascinating relic of the past combined with the future, which I bet would make it just an amazing place to visit in the world. I mean, it is. It has to be one of the most visited tourist spots in the world. I'm positive of that without even looking it up. Um, but I am surprised uh, the people of the UK have, have decided the data says it is the third most loved so there's two more above this one. What, what are they? I, I can't even think of any. London, the capital of England and of the UK, is the third most loved city in the country. Huh. The city whose residence is loved by a whole 68% of the respondents. Also, London has been heard of everywhere in the world. Yes, maybe it's number three on the list because it's, like, too obvious. Like, the citizens of the UK are like, London is so expected to be our favorite that it's just not. It's not our favorite. It's our third favorite, just to be a little defiant, you know? So it's even surprising that 2% of the people say they haven't heard of or been to London. Hard wow. to believe, yeah. but it's true. Of course, London has many haters. Some 13% hate it, and it's understandable. I understand why people hate it. I don't know what he's about to say, but I think when you're as famous as London is, you're just going to attract haters from that point of view. It's a very busy city, yet 17% yeah. of the people neither love nor hate London. I bet there's so many, there's probably so many tourists that come that that makes it a little unpleasant and busy as well. Two, York. York. Well, it has a clock tower in the, <laughs> in the center there, so immediately it makes the list. But number two... I've never really heard of York. Uh, it just makes me think of New York. Is New York based off of York? Is, is that a thing? The second most loved city in the UK is York, the city huh. with a lot. And it's it's on water with beautiful boat rides and all that. Of theaters and whose residents so much love to read that women's own magazine. Huh. While York huh. has a little fewer lovers than London with only 97% profess- Look at this, this would be cool right here let alone the fact that there's an entire city as well of buildings and stuff to do. Seeing their likeness for York, the fame of York is unmatched by that of any other city on this list. A whole 73% say they've heard about York before. Wait, so this is one of the most famous cities in the UK? Is that what he said? Like, more famous than London? That's impossible, no. 97% professing their likeness for York, the fame of York is unmatched by that of any other city on this list. What? A whole 73% say they've heard about York before. Huh? How is York m the most famous? I've never heard of it. Huh. Interesting. Added to that, only 3% of the people say they dislike York, the city mm. with lots of love for dishes of na- Oh look, it has like beautiful land, uh, architecture in the background. People like in a racing boat there. <laughs> it's cool. Nachos. We have 21% who are neutral about the city. Okay. Oh, what's number one? Oh, I can kind of read it. F Edin Edinburgh. One. Edinburgh. Ed, ed sorry, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Not Edinburgh. Edinburgh. No. <laughs> How American can I say it? Edinburgh. No. <laughs> Edinburgh. Burra. I can't even say it. Anyway, I've heard of this. Don't know. Don't know the first thing about it, but I, I've heard of it at some point. Not nearly as much as any of the others that I knew of. The most loved city in the UK is in Scotland. Oh, it's in Scotland. Huh. The, this is the most loved city, statistically, by the UK. Wow. And it's a Scottish city. That's really fascinating. I wonder if he'll, he'll tell why. Edinburgh, the capital, tops the list of the most loved cities in this country. Oh, it's the capital of Scotland, for one thing. Good to know. 
Only 1% of the respondents don't like the city that is popular with the remaining 90... Sorry, I have to pause it because there's a clock tower in the background. <laughs> Did you spot it? It's like one of those puzzle games that I've been doing this whole video. I see the clock tower in the back left. Yeah, I see it. 9%. Similarly, as many as 74% of the people say they have heard about Edinburgh. Okay. Only 4%. It obviously is very, very historical. I'm seeing non-stop structures that basically look like castles to me. Uh, just non-stop everywhere. Beautiful, with trees, like nature is involved. Obviously a beautiful part of Scotland. ...say they dislike this city that hardly displeases anyone. Hmm. Even then, we still have 21% of them who said that their feeling toward the city is neutral. Wow. The cities on this list are rated based on the level of love their residents profess for them and how huh. the people know them. We would like to know how you feel about this rating and... <laughs> how I feel? How I feel is kind of irrelevant because... I didn't know any of these existed before. So this video was by Learning Canteen. I give you a like. That was very interesting. Very fun, the way they... <laughs> they were very honest in the way they, like, analyzed it and polled people. I wonder what the distribution of the population was, though, if they got equal polling from Scotland, Wales, Ireland, and England t to fairly represent, like, what what people would be kind of biased towards as their favorite cities, but that's neither here nor there. This is the list that we have, and I very much like it. Um, I'm shocked to find that all the cities I'd ever heard of, which I think by definition make them some of the most world famous, like if I know the name of the, if I've heard of the name of the city, if it's reached me, here in America, <laughs> and me who barely pays attention to anything, it's famous, famous. So it's funny that some of the top cities there I'd never really heard of before. Uh, maybe I have somewhere in the back of my mind, but uh, most of them I thought were colleges or <laughs> I'd never heard of. Anyway, this was really quite interesting. I, I'm going to have to take a closer look at a lot of these cities because... The narrator was so busy giving stats that he only could touch on the specific attributes, the specific qualities of each city very briefly. And I'm sure each city on this list is genuinely loved by people. And I'd like to know more of why, what's there, uh, what specifically is there, I'd love to know. But this was a great way to introduce me, introduce me to a wide variety of cities, because uh, there's no other way I'd really be able to look into them more if I didn't know they existed. <laughs> so, in a sense, this was like a perfect list for me, just to get it on my radar, get me aware of uh, what's loved in the UK. Anyway, if you loved this video, or just liked it, <laughs> feel free to give it a like or leave a comment, and if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to the United Kingdom, Great Britain, culture, things there that I've never seen ever before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.